What's up, my no fat brothers, man? I'm back again with another valuable information to update. Today, I'm going to be talking about believing in yourself, believing in yourself explained. Because, man, for a long time, I know you guys hear me talk about this time and time again on every every one of my videos about me not believing in myself until I turned 26 and a half years old. And it's and when I started believing in myself, then I was able to see opportunities. Then I was able to take the appropriate action uh, to get a job or to approach complete strangers. You know, just believing in myself that I can do it. Me is still in that belief in my mind that's saying, wow, if that person can do it, I can do it. Because growing up my entire life, um, you know, I didn't believe in myself. I didn't have confidence in myself. I didn't even hear the word confidence because my whole mind, my whole mindset was negative. I was, I was pretty, I was programmed to think negative just growing up, just, you know, just growing up, just seeing the world in a negative way, not seeing opportunities because I didn't believe in myself. Because when you don't believe in yourself, you're in a box. So you don't see different opportunities that would be necessarily in front of you because I've been living in the area that I live in now for maybe about 16 years. And recently, everywhere I look, I see opportunities now because it's because I believe in myself and also because I now have a positive mindset. In today's world, everything is geared towards negativity. You see negativity on the news, TV, they talk about it on the radio. I mean, everywhere you go is something negative. People at work, you know, they're negative. Just, just filling your mind up with um, negative influences, negative thoughts. You know, people on YouTube... You know, you can you can say something positive. You might have a hundred likes, and it might be two dislikes. That dislike now, if you have a negative mindset, you're going to be geared towards those two dislikes instead of the one hundred people that liked your video. You know, so if you want to instill a positive belief, a positive productive belief in your life, you have to drill it. You have to instill it into your mind over and over and over again. I'm talking about to the point where it becomes ridiculous, like, damn, you're doing it that much? Because every single day, I will listen to positive affirmations on YouTube. I will constantly read my positive affirmations on my board, on my wall to instill that into my mind. I forced it. I fucking forced that shit. Like, you have to be willing to do whatever it takes. Like Grant Cardone says, whatever it takes, if you can read my wristband, to, to make it happen. And I had a shift in my mind that when I walk everywhere I look, I see an opportunity. And that's that's the that's the thing why so many successful people see opportunities everywhere. People that have a negative poor mindset don't see those opportunities because they're more geared towards negativity. But there's positivity in those negative situation outcomes, you know, in that particular um area or scene. But Positive people, positive people, positive thinking people, successful people see positivity, see opportunities everywhere. So whenever I go somewhere, I see an opportunity every single where. I mean, every single place. I see an opportunity every sing, every everywhere I go. I see an opportunity. That's why I told I told my dad this about a year ago. I said I would never be broke because I will always be able to find a job. I was I will always be able to provide. Um, money in my life. You know, I'll always be able to provide something of stability income in my life because I know that I can get any job that I want. I know that there's opportunities everywhere. There you know, you got to you got to be open to that. If you're in a box, you can't see those opportunities. You know what I'm saying? So today I'm going to talk about um what's it fucking believing in yourself explain. So let me let me show you something. So, okay. Believe. Now, if you believe it first, then you can achieve it. I forgot who said that quote, but if you can believe it right here, if you can believe it first, then you can achieve it. So, when you believe it, you now open the doors for opportunities. opportunities. You now open the door. See, this This right here is a road 
to opportunities because now that door is open versus not believing. I, I'm just put, I don't believe in myself. I don't believe in myself. So I don't believe in myself. So what role does that into? Look, you see that? Where, where are you going to go? You're going to hit a wall. My entire life, I kept hitting walls because I didn't believe in myself. I did not believe in myself. I don't believe in myself. Even though I didn't say it in my mind, that's what I believe because I didn't believe in myself. So when you believe in yourself, you now open up that box. When you believe in yourself, you now open up that box. So now you can see opportunities. Now you're allowing opportunities to flow to you. Okay? So, all right. Now we already got that. We already got that understood. Believing in yourself and not believing in yourself. Seeing opportunities in negative situations. Or just seeing opportunities, period. So when you believe in yourself, when you when you believe in yourself, you give that belief in yourself power. Because remember when we talk about focus? Focus is power. Focus is energy. Power is energy. Okay? Anytime you focus on that belief, you strengthen it over and over again. You strengthen that belief. So now you're exerting power and energy because all focus is energy. So if you believe in anything, if you just believe that you're a badass, if you believe that you're confident, if you believe that you're charismatic, if you believe that you can get any job, you give that belief power versus a negative belief. So that's why positive self-talk is so important. Because if you constantly have positive self-talk, now you're focused on that. So now your positivity grows. Okay, versus negative self-talk right here. So if you have negative self-talk and you're focused on that negative self-talk, then you just drop, you decline. You know you're going to downward spiral, depression, anxiety, suicidal thoughts, possibly. You know it's just it's just it's nothing good focusing on negative. So so we got the belief. So what, what what comes after believing? What comes after believing? Thought. So if you want to make something happen, the thought. So believing um how I wanted to do I believe in myself, okay? How I wanted to come up with this YouTube channel. I put on my wall, you know, I want to be the best YouTuber out there. You know, why would I not want to be the best? So you want to be the best in everything that you do. So that's what I put. I put that thought into my mind and I wrote that thought out. I kept thinking that thought. Okay. I kept thinking that thought. So my belief, which I focused on, gave my thought power. So my thinking and my positive, my positive thoughts increased. So I was able to strengthen up this thought by focusing more on that thought, okay? So after you think it, after the thought comes after the belief, then you visualize it. Visualize. Visualize is really important because now you're visualizing it. I think it could be possibly a law of attraction, just visualizing it happening. But when you visualize something happening, it all starts in the mind. So everything right here, all, all these three things right here, is in, starts in the mind. Everything starts in the mind. Every great invention started in the mind. So if you believe it, you can achieve it. So believe it. First, believe it. Then the thought comes, okay, what, what do I want to do? Okay. You want to... Um, invent, you know, 
a jetpack or whatever. So the thought comes. Now you visualize it actually happening. You visualizing yourself actually um, coming up with the with the blueprint of the of the jetpack coming up with what is the you know the wording, how is it going to look, how is it going to operate, how, what the sales price. All that starts within the mind first. So believe it, think it, visualize it. All right, and all that requires focus. And remember what focus is. Focus is energy. So believe it, thought, visualize. And right after visualize comes action. Now, when you visualize it, action. And when you and when you and when you put in action, you now manifest it into reality. So that's why they always say, you know, um, I can manifest something into reality by just thinking about it. But no one explains on the steps of uh, manifesting things in your reality just by thinking or just by having law of attraction. It's a process. You have to believe it. You have to think it. You have to visualize it. And then you have to take the action because everything starts in the mind. So you already created your product. You already created um, your desired outcome is because in your mind first. Now the last step is just taking action. That's the last step right here. Last step. And then you manifest whatever you want into your reality by taking action. So, um, and with me, me not believing in myself. Okay, what what does not believing in yourself get you? Not believing in myself. What does not believing in my what does not believing in yourself, myself, whatever? What does not believing in yourself get you? You don't even think because you don't no thought comes up because you don't think you can do it. So no no thought comes up. Thought just there's no thought because you don't believe in yourself. Visualize, visualizing doesn't even come up in your head because you don't believe in yourself. I mean, how's it going to pop up? How's a thought going to pop up your head to take appropriate action and, and to visualize it happening? How's that going to pop up your head if you don't believe that you can do it? So, when for like I said, twenty six and a half years, I did not believe in myself, so I never thought that I, I never thought that I could do it, and I never visualized that I could do it. So I didn't take what action? I didn't take action. So I didn't think. I didn't visualize and I didn't take action. So I missed all four steps, all four steps to manifesting anything that you want in your life. Just believing in yourself, meaning that you can have anything that you want. Anything is possible. Anything is possible when you believe in yourself. So me not believing in myself, then think, then visualize, then action. So I stayed right here. I stayed right here. I didn't, right here, these are stairs. I didn't believe in myself, so I was never able to take the next step. Okay? I didn't I didn't believe in myself, so I didn't, this right here, these steps were closed off because I was in my own box. There was no steps. I didn't see the step because I didn't allow myself, I didn't even give myself any, any focus, any energy. And to actually believe in myself because I was, like I said, I I just thought negative. I didn't believe in myself. I had low self-esteem. I didn't think things were possible. Nothing was possible. So when I started believing in myself, then I was able to take the steps necessary to create the life that I want. You know, I don't have the life, you know, I don't have the life that I, that I want right now, but I'm in the process of creating it. Everything I'm doing now is a year, two year in in advance. I'm living in the future right now. I believe. I'm thinking. I'm visualizing it happening right now. And I'm taking that necessary action, as you see right now, into creating the life that I want. So um, I really hope 
I really hope you guys really understand and grasp this concept of believing in yourself, the core process, believe, thought, visualize, action. You know, I didn't I didn't read about this. This is from personal experience. Just from, you know, I I go right down the street every day. I was like, damn, is this store here? I could have worked here. Is 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 these people here? I could have talked to them about asking them what's their personal keys to success. I didn't believe in myself, so I didn't, like I said, I didn't see opportunity. Believing in yourself creates opportunity. Believing in yourself can create abundance in your life because now you have positive self-talk because you believe that you can do it. Even though this is something simple, um, last week I was making a delivery and nobody was there to operate the forklift. And I was the only guy there to operate the forklift. A couple of years ago, I didn't want to get on the forklift because I didn't believe in myself. I was scared that if I got on the forklift, I would fuck up the product some shit would go wrong and I just didn't t- I just didn't think that I could do it. Even though fork even though driving a forklift is extremely simple, I just didn't believe in myself to even attempt it. So me not believing, like I said, I didn't even think that I could do it. I didn't visualize it happening and I didn't take the action. So let's rewind back a week a week ago. So the forklift was there. I was like, man, fuck, I can do anything. I hopped on the forklift. I was like, okay, I could do it. I visualized it happening and I took the action. So me believing, me believing in myself, I just did all four steps real quick in my in my head. I got on the forklift, I looked at all the controls, looked at the handles, see what I had to do to operate the forklift. Took my time, didn't make a mistake, and everything came out smooth. And that increased my reference of me believing in myself because even if even if you don't know how to do something, just believe it in yourself. Just believe it in yourself will allow you to take action. Believe in oneself creates action. You believe that you can do it, so you're going to take action. Even if you don't know how. You're still going to take action to attempt it because you believe in yourself that you can do it. Even if you fuck up, you will learn. Oh, if you fuck up 10 times, it doesn't matter, but you still took the action. So now you can learn how to do it versus someone that don't believe in themselves versus someone that don't take any action because they would never even have the the time, the, the patience, you know, the opportunity to take action because they never put themselves in that doorway. They never... Walked up the stairs. So yeah. Believe in yourself guys. Believe in your fucking self. It's extremely important. You know because. It's just. It's just, it's just really beautiful and like. I didn't, I didn't understand like. Why no one. Told me about man you gotta believe in yourself. But maybe they didn't believe in themselves. So I, I can't hold anything. Against anyone. So that's why I'm sharing my knowledge with you guys, because I know some of you guys out there don't believe in yourself or do believe in yourself, but then don't know how to take the appropriate action to make the, to manifest things into your rally or just or just the whole thought process, how it how thinking and visualizing it happening before you even take the action. So use your imagination and visualize that shit happening. Everything starts in the mind. This right here, this is this is my first take. You know, I'm 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 just going off the fucking dome. You know, I just I believe that I can do it. You know, because I know I can fucking do it. I just said, man, I'm gonna just let's do one take. So I believe. I thought it out. I visualized everything happening right now. Everything that's going on right now, I believe. I thought it out. I visualized. It. Then I took. I'm taking the action now. So I'm manifesting this into reality because it all started right here. So yeah, guys, man. Uh, if you gotta watch this video over again, watch it. But man, this is really valuable information, and I didn't even know this, you know. But it's just I'm able to process in- information now that I've never never been able to process before. It's like I'm getting information at a rapid rate, even though I'm reading books. It's so many knowledge gaps that I had growing up 
those knowledge gaps are now being filled with with more knowledge. So now I can use, now I can go back into my mind and be like, okay, this makes sense. This makes sense. I can go back into my past ex- my past experiences and add it up. Everything. Every, whenever I go out into the world, I collect data, come back, analyze it, and be like, okay, boom, boom, boom. I could do this different. I could do this different, and I can share this with you guys and help you on your journey. So when I, whenever I'm making videos, whenever I'm feeding you guys this information, I'm going out into the field, taking that information, bringing it back home, analyzing it, and then giving you guys the positivity, the uh, the the, um, the value, the valueness, the valuable, the um, yeah, the valueness of this valuable information instead of the bullshit that I come across in my day to day life because I come across a lot of bullshit. You know, people people at my job are just it's fucking ridiculous, man. Uh, I know some of you people might be hanging around negative people or people that are just showing um you porn shit, talk about sex all the time, which is ridiculous. You know, just limit yourself around people that are negative. Limit yourself around people that are not going to lift you, encourage you to do better. You know, sometimes you can't eliminate them completely out your life, but just eliminate your time that you give them because your time, your energy, time is energy, is energy is time. So yeah, man, that's completely off top. It'll cut out, but yeah, that's extremely off topic. And but this, all this shit that I'm telling you is extremely important on your NoFap journey. You know, so uh, you guys just have to stay focused and believe in yourself. Trust yourself 100% and know that anything is fucking possible, man. Anything is fucking possible. You know, I always put this in my head. If one man can do it, then I can do it. If, if one man can do it, then I can do it. You know, if that guy can be a brain surgeon, hell, I could be a brain surgeon. You know, I might got to go to school and this and that. But me believing in myself will allow me to take the action. When I was 18, 19, 20, 21 years old, I didn't. I never believed that I could be a brain surgeon. But now if I decide to be a fucking brain surgeon, I can be a brain surgeon because I believe that I can do it. I'm going to think it, visualize it and take action. And boom, I'm a fucking brain surgeon. So, yeah, man, believing in yourself is extremely important. So, you guys believe in yourself. If you need to watch my um, day 104, my personal daily habits to like come up with your daily rituals, your affirmations, you know, anything that's positive, and productive to help get you get you rising even higher, you know, give you that momentum to continue to push forward that, you know, you're running, you're trying to take off and fly. You know, you need rituals. You need positive information that you read every single day. You need your personal why. You need a you need to work out. Work if you're not working out, I advise you guys to work out, man. Work out. Eat healthy. You know, um, spend time in nature. Read books. You know, and just and just and love yourself. One hundred percent. Love yourself. So yeah, guys, uh man. I will be uploading another bag of information update video very soon. But until then, believe in your fucking self. I'm out.